So in this video, we'll be using the Moment GS to create a view filter and using it, then we we'll use the view filter to actually make our date and time actually look nice. So uh, go over to VGS uh, Moment, go over to momentgs.com. Uh, this is a new interface. Uh, yeah so uh i think uh to install it just go back to copy this command and go back to your timeline and just paste it and that will install moment gs to your project and if you want to use uh the cdn you can just download uh download the file i think you just click on this so you can just download the view moment JS file and just go over and use it and use it in your project. Go over and you just have to include uh you just have to include this file to your project. So I'm just going to be using the npm to install it. Just copy this and go over to go copy that and go back to your time now and uh, just run that command it's going to install it in no time so to actually use it uh if you go back to the documentation and i have to use it uh where is the documentation i think this is it so let's just see the documentation i think there is a lot <laughs> there is a lot here uh yeah this is it so um you have to require this file uh then use it or just import this directly so that's what i'm just going to do as you go back to my app.js i'm just going to import this right here so yeah so um the next thing we can do is to actually use this so i told you that i will be using it uh alongside view filter so that we can use it in anywhere in our view component so uh to do that it's actually easy we need to create a view filter and just use it so so to actually use it all we need to do is just to create a view filter and get start working with it so to create a view filter is very simple so let's just say view filter and this this will take two arguments let's just say yes it it will take two arguments and uh the first one is just going to be the name of the filter so let's just say uh let's just give it a random name let's just say date and the second argument is going to be a callback so let's just say function and this function will take a variable let's just say this will be created and let's just say this right here so uh here we want to return something for now if we should return just a string if we should return just a string and just say this is okay and go over and we go over to our component and we say created that so to use it is quite easy let's just say this so that's all this is how you use the flitter so let's just come here and refresh this So you can see that okay right here. So uh we should go over to our uh, our flitter and actually write naturally write uh the method. So in here so what this variable actually does it takes the value from Whatever value we have here, it takes the value and just place it right here. To prove this, let's just say return created. So if we should refresh this now.
So you can see the value is returned back. So that's the value it takes. And to actually use this, if you should go over to the moment yes uh, file, if you should go over there, you I just go back to the home page. And in the home page, you will, we have some options that we can choose from. Uh, we can choose to use the day, and this is just going to tell us the day. We can choose to use the month, and it all depends on how you want it to do. We can use to do, we can use the relative time, which is nine years ago, eight years ago, five hours ago, minutes ago, and uh, it's it's the the uh, we just have. A lot of options to choose from but I'm just going to use the first the first one right here so if I should copy that so I'm just going to copy this and paste it right here and I'll pass this variable to it and let's just say created and this is all we need to do to actually use it so if i should come over here and refresh just give it time to load yeah so we can see october 14 2020 uh that was when i created this user it's we're actually in november right now and it's been a long time uh that was when I actually start recording this video. So that's when uh, we created this user, and uh, you can see out how, how the moment JS actually work, and uh, it's how uh, it saves us a lot of time. If we should start writing this uh, this function, uh, it's just going to take us a lot of time. So thanks to the moment JS uh, team, I think. Uh, they deserve that and uh, I think I will end this video right here and uh, in next video we are actually going to uh, let's just see we're actually going to get to building the create new user functionality which is this and I'll see you then so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do and turn on notifications and I'll see you next video thanks